The thing I love about cycling the most is the freedom that it gives me. Cycling is something that allows this freedom of movement, and that is something that ulcerative colitis took away from me for a very long period of my time. And I was actually at a bike race when I first experienced warning signs of the condition. I can vividly remember being on the start line and just having some awful trouble with my gut. And when I had used the restroom, there was blood present. And as a young athlete, I mean, that's a scary thing to encounter. It wasn't until that I was hospitalized, and that's when the realization came in. It was like, either I'm gonna lose my colon and my life is completely gonna change, or I'm gonna figure out what the heck this disease is and I'm gonna fight this like I would if it was a bike race and I'm fighting for the finish. Meeting Corey was really pivotal in my life. Yeah, like Corey, I have ulcerative colitis and many people have no idea what it is and I was one of them. Well, I, IBD stands for inflammatory bowel disease and that's comprised of two main conditions which is Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. So I'm currently living with ulcerative colitis. It is an autoimmune condition where my body is attacking itself within the large intestine. Really, I kind of put my head in the sand. I didn't want it to be something more serious. It dictated every step of the day for me. It was sleepless nights. Nights on the bathroom floor. It was constant blood loss. I couldn't eat. I was really kind of afraid to talk about it, quite honestly. And it wasn't until I was outspoken about my condition and I used the platform of cycling that I got to meet John. A virtual riding platform. We did a ride and here was this professional cyclist with UC. And he's fought his way through the ranks to become a professional athlete at the highest possible level. Hey, you know, your story is really awesome. This is my story. How can we connect? What can we do to reach out to more people? And it was the love of the bike that brought us together. It's his passion and his way to challenge his IBD and say, no, I'm not gonna let this disease dictate what I'm gonna be doing in life. No, I'm gonna push back. One in 100 people are living with inflammatory bowel disease, yet we often feel like we're alone. It's a condition that people don't talk about because it's embarrassing. There's a social stigma, it's taboo. There's a reason there's a door on a restroom. People don't feel comfortable talking about it. And what did it do? It landed me in the hospital. People are more outspoken about it, normalized that having IBD is okay. Talking about this condition and breaking down those social stigmas is exactly what we need to do. When I was in the hospital, I sat there with this lack of knowledge, trying to figure out this puzzle of what is causing causing my issues. And when you can figure that out, it becomes quite straightforward. And finding out what companies are out there, like Thorne, who have an at-home gut health test. And it's through that education, that awareness, that people find out what it is that they can do to better their gut health. Yeah, with IBD, a team is everything. You can't do this on your own. Doctors, family members, friends. <laughs> people around you, a support network. To kind of uplift you as best they can. To get you to that place of self-worth, to that place of self-health. Writing for Human Powered Health and having a sponsor like Thorne allowed me to manage my condition in an all new way. I think most pro cyclists are probably, you know, looking at, okay, I need energy like pasta or carbohydrates. For me, it's also like, how do I have to fuel not only the effort on the bike, but to not exacerbate any sort of conditional problems with my gut. So every day I pay attention to what am I putting in my body? Is it the right thing? Will it make my disease flare up or will it help sustain me? And then I look at overall, how's my mental state? Do I need to take some time off? Do I need to challenge myself? Yeah, I don't think there's anything more free than being on a bike. Going out, getting on the open roads. You know, there's a lot of beauty in the world to be seen and you can be one with nature. For me, cycling is cathartic. It's just kind of like this natural medicine yeah. that really let's lose some of those chemicals in your brain. I can ride up whatever mountain, I can go down whatever road. So if I could overcome what IBD threw at me, I knew I can overcome any challenge that I would ever face on a bicycle. And I can share at least what I've gone through to help somebody and to inspire them to never give up on their journey. And I'm gonna do that through the bicycle. I'm on human powered health, I'm at the top of the sport. I'm able to have this platform to share to others that, you know, no matter what's thrown at you, you can definitely overcome it.